Um, how can this country move forward when the new Minister for Equality is against gays adopting and transsexuals changing their gender? How can our country move forward if the new Minister for Equality, which is the Home Secretary sitting on my right here, Theresa May, is against gay adoption and against transsexuals changing their agenda? Uh, I'll come to you, obviously, Theresa May. Shami Chakrabarti. Um, well, I, I don't know that that is the... the the case. Well, she so uh, uh, she uh, can, uh, and the Home Secretary will no doubt s speak for herself, but um, uh, you know, uh, I hope that's not the case. And well, I, I sorry, believe, let's, you know, let's get this clear. Theresa yeah. May, perhaps I should come to you first. You voted against the repeal of Section some 28 year, some years ago. in 1998 and in 2000, <laughs> and you voted against gay couples adopting. Have you changed your view on those things? I, if those if those votes were today, yes, I have changed my view, and I think I would take a different vote. But what I would say to you. What I would say to you in, in answer of the question, to the question is that actually what will show the difference that the government is going to make is what we will do in government uh, on this particular agenda of equalities. And we published a very full uh, equalities contract, equalities manifesto, during the election campaign. And that did include issues like addressing the, the very real issue of homophobic bullying in schools, for example. Um, it did look uh, uh, to commit that what, one of the things we would be doing is looking at uh, ensuring that people who are claiming asylum from particular countries with, because they're at proven risk in relation to their sexuality, that we should be able to take that into account as an issue uh, when looking at those claims for asylum from particular countries. So we have an agenda there on equalities which we will be putting forward but, but on what, gay rights and mm. on other issues as well. What made you change your view, if you have, mm. on gay couples adopting, teaching homosexuality in schools, mm. um, transsexuals being allowed legally to change their gender? What, have you well, changed your minds on, on, on I, all those I, things? I tell you that I have changed... I'll give you an example of why I've changed my mind on uh, the... I don't remember the, la the, the last vote on the transgender uh, issue, Well, actually. you didn't actually so vote against it, but it's what called you, well, didn't, didn't, you didn't turn up I, four I times running. Vote, yes. I wasn't there yes. for the vote. There's but four deal, times. There's a great deal like of difference <laughs> there, David. But on the gay adoption, yes, I have changed my mind, and I've changed my mind because I have been persuaded that actually... Um, when you're looking at uh, the, the, the future for a child, I think it is better for a child who is in, um, perhaps in, in an institutional environment, if they have the opportunity of being in a stable family environment, um, be that a, 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 a heterosexual couple or a gay couple, then I think it's more important that that child is in that stable and loving right. environment. And uh, I have genuinely changed my mind on that. Caroline Flint. Well, I'm, I'm pleased Theresa's changed her mind and people... Um, we should accept when people change their mind and, and, and welcome that. But can I just say that um, I'm also very proud that the Labour government since 1997 actually created a debate around these issues when they were very unpopular, where we didn't have support, I'm afraid, from Conservative frontbench uh, people. And I think actually that's something I'm very proud of. One of many things I'm proud of, like the national minimum wage, which the Liberals and the Tories voted against. Let's just go on about what you're proud about. You lost the election, as you conceded. We don't want to hear a repetition. No, no, I won't, Caroline. No, I won't, Caroline, because we don't want to hear this. Other parties have changed their views because Labour started the debate. The election's over. You sit in the front. Yes. Um, for the Minister for Equality, there's clearly a very clear divide in the pay between men and women in this country, and it's an ongoing situation which we've had for a very long time. If this was the case between a man of one skin colour and a man of another, it would be completely unacceptable and we'd be making national issue of it. What is, what is your plan in the government to actually try and overcome this? They're a bit far away from gay adoption, and, but since you've backed off that one, perhaps you just briefly answer that. <laughs> I didn't back off that one. I actually answered the question. No, no, you backed off in the sense you said you no longer felt you the way you, you, oh, right, you did. Sorry, you changed my mind. mind. Yes, I'll, it, it, you're absolutely right. And, of course, the situation in this country is that for several decades we've actually had legislation against discrimination in, in uh, pay. We've had uh, legislation on equal pay, which obviously hasn't been fully working. There's a, there's a variety of reasons why we still have that gender pay gap, and you can measure it in various ways. It's a, it, the normal measurement, usual measurement, uses it's about 16% at the moment. One of the things we looked at doing was making companies who were found guilty of discrimination be required to have a compulsory pay audit. The Liberal Democrats took a slightly different view in relation to pay audits. And what we have in this uh, document is that we will be taking action in relation to equal pay. We're going to discuss which of those approaches is going to be the best one that is going to actually have 
um, results. But there are some other things that need to be done as well, too, because girls and young women need to get better careers advice, which right. is something Let's we need to do. Let's not go too far down this road, because the question was about something different. Uh, I don't know why I let it in, but there you are, the, the woman there. Hello. Are you aware that there's a petition to have you sacked? And if that is... Would you be able to address those people that are wanting to have you sacked because of the opinions that you have provided? But if you've changed your mind, then surely you should address us and... Let us know. Well, who's the petition from? It's on Facebook. It's Facebook. All right, you know about it. And why do you want her yes. sacked? You've signed it. Oh, no, you? no, I haven't signed well, it. I've just been aware of it. No, mind. because if she's changed her mind, right. she's gone against what the petition is standing for, so right. maybe you should talk to these people and, and explain well, your she situation. She just has. Mm. So there we are. <laughs> uh, uh, Douglas Murray, and then I come to you, Shami. Yes, Murray. I mean, quickly, I mean, the, the Tory party, which has a terrible record of homophobia, uh, of the kind of votes that. Uh, the new Home Secretary uh, uh, voted along, Ming. Uh, including, by the way, uh, the Section 28 was not about uh, teaching homosexuals, it was, among other things, uh, teaching young men how not to contract uh, fatal diseases. Uh, it's always put as if it was some kind of advertisement for it. The Tory party has a terrible track record on this. However, they have noticed that under Labour, uh, a, a lot of this changed. Labour did introduce, I've got, you've got to give them credit to it, very progressive, decent legislation on this. The Conservatives have realised the country has changed and they have quite rightly realised they should change with it. The only thing I would add very quickly on that is that uh, for all uh, LGBT campaigners and others who, who sympathise with them, I think there's a, it's very important whatever we think about this, that we also do not try to shut down debate. One of the problems that's happened recently is that gay rights campaigners and their friends and sympathisers have tried to sort of get out of the public right. sphere anything they don't agree with. Thank uh, you. I'm against certain opinions, but I still think we have to allow them to be there in the mix. Min Campbell, we only have about 30 seconds left. Quick. Families Thank come you. now in all shapes and sizes, and I think the celebration of the diversity of the people in the United Kingdom is absolutely central to the kind of country I want to live in. And I'm delighted that it's buttressed by the provisions of the European Convention on Human Rights. And do you want one sentence, because you started, but I cut you off to hear from Theresa May. Caroline Flint should be proud of her government's record in gay equality and the new Home Secretary, delightful to be on a panel with three women for a change, by the way, should be proud of having changed her mind. I'm afraid that ends question time this week.